I'm sorry, but you've been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. But don't worry, we'll order you a new pancreas from the stem cell lab. You might have heard of stem cell therapies being the next big breakthrough in science. But what are stem cells? Stem cells are special cells. They have no specific function and can turn into specialized cells that have particular roles and functions. A special trait that stem cells have is that they are self-renewable. This means they can replicate themselves in their undifferentiated state to grow their population, but then later turn into a specialized cell. Stem cells are first found a few days after an egg is fertilized. In this stage of development, the embryo is called a blastocyst. The stem cells found in the blastocyst are undifferentiated and can turn into nearly any cell in the body. But how do these stem cells know what to differentiate into? Stem cells take various external and internal cues in order to decide. External cues involve cells next to each other signaling and communicating what type of cell to become. Internal cues include transcription factors found in the original fertilized cell. These transcription factors and where they are placed in the cell determine the stem cell's preference of what it wants to become. These cues then factor into what part of the DNA should be read. Even though they are all drastically different, each cell in your body has the same DNA. Stem cells can turn into these different types of cells by reading and activating only certain sections of the DNA. Think of it like a filing cabinet. Since a stem cell is not limited to one set of directions, the proteins can choose whatever instructions they want. The proteins that read the genes decide which door to open and which blueprints to take out and use. They also lock away all other blueprints after they pick because they won't need them. In stem cell research, scientists are looking to replicate this natural differentiation process in hopes of cultivating desired cells to be used for treatment. So far, researchers have created microenvironments called stem cell niches in order to control stem cells changing into what they want. This artificially regulates external and internal cues to the stem cell. Scientists have learned various methods to cue the stem cell into turning into a specific cell or creating more stem cells. Scientists are looking into embryonic stem cells and using these methods as a treatment in regenerative medicine. In the near future, scientists hope to grow stem cells and then inject them into patients to heal and replace damaged tissue. Ultimately, scientists hope that they can someday create an entire organ from stem cells. This would fulfill the increasing demand for organ transplants. But scientists have only been able to cultivate a few cells at a time and make small and simplified organs to test drugs. Stem cell therapy is still in its infancy, and if researchers can unlock the key on how stem cells differentiate and self-renew, it could provide treatments for numerous diseases and create countless possibilities.